So today's the day. The new wedding pack for The Sims 4 called My Wedding Stories is officially released everywhere. I've had the chance to play with this pack for a while now. I've had it in early access for like a full week. I will say that this early access period has been somewhat unpleasant. It's been really, really buggy, but I know that they're planning on having a patch come out today, like a day zero patch as soon as the game releases. So hopefully the game that you all get your hands on is better. I've seen the patch notes and there are a lot of bug fixes in it. So I'm like really crossing my fingers and hoping that it's more playable. And I wanna make like an actual review video being like, hey, is it worth buying this pack? But I wanna do that tomorrow because I don't think that I can make that video without playing the pack like actually released. Cause I don't think it's fair to make that judgment call on like my early access software that wasn't final. So I'm gonna give them a chance and I'm gonna play the pack today once it's officially released. I'm gonna play it on stream tonight at 4 p.m. Eastern time. My name is just Lil Simsy on Twitch if you wanna drop by. So we can test it out and tomorrow I'll let you know if I think it's worth buying. I just don't really feel ready to do that yet. But I also realized that I haven't actually shown you like what all is in the pack. I've done some build videos. I did some like small gameplay videos, but I haven't shown you all the stuff yet. So that's what I wanna do now. Look, the gameplay might be a little bit bugged, the, a lot of bit bugged, but it, the stuff's cool, right? So let's take a look, shall we? All right, starting with hairs, there are six new feminine framed hairs. We have this one, which I think is beautiful. I love the clip on that. It comes in a bunch of different colors depending on the swatch of the hair as well. I will say I always kind of dislike that. Like I always kind of wish that you could pick the color of the clip separate from the color of the hair, but we can't and it is pretty. We also have this little hair, same thing. It has accessories and it has like a little clip and some little beads. This is a beautiful hairstyle. This one is my favorite. It's this little pixie cut with the headband. We also have this longer hair with a veil attached and it comes in like a few different colors on this one and solid white on this one. And we have it without the veil as well. Masculine frame Sims literally only got one hair. I'm not super impressed by that. It's a cool hair, but I just am very disappointed in the lack of assets. Like I would like to see a little bit more. I understand it's a wedding pack and they probably focused more on clothing than hairs, but one, just one. We also have all of those same hairs available for the kids, by the way. And I'm not sure about toddlers. Oh, they have a couple of them. Cool. Well, there you go. They did actually add one new makeup item. We have a new eyeshadow. It's a pretty sparkly one. I'm kind of glad they did this. I always feel like the makeup is not very good in this game and this eyeshadow seems nice enough. And we also got a new eyeliner. It comes in a couple kind of fun colors as well. It's pretty. We did get this new hat, which I will say is absolutely stunning. I think this is beautiful. I'm actually really impressed by the cast in this pack. I think it turned out really nicely. We also have a few accessories. We have these earrings. We have this item, which is absolutely incredible. It doesn't really fit on this hairstyle, but how cool cool is that? We've got these earrings, we have a necklace, and we also have four of these little flowers. These are like boutonnieres, right? Am I saying the right thing? They come in some pretty cute swatches and a few different kind of cute styles. I'm glad they made these as cast assets and not like an item in game because you can like more easily control them this way. And they're really pretty. I'm into it. There's also actually quite a few other accessories. We have two sets of these bangles that are amazing. I think these are so pretty. We have a new pair of gloves. We also have one new set of nail polish. They're kind of fancy like bridal looking nails with some detail on them. They've been adding a lot more nails recently. I'm kind of pleased with that. And we also have four more Rings. They're kind of hard to show off on camera, obviously, because it's like so small. Dan, can you like zoom in on this? Oh wait, I can show you with the nails. Oh, there you go. So this one is like obviously a band, like a wedding band and an engagement ring stacked. Kind of a fun, like trendy style, like shape as well. We also have this one, which is really pretty. Then we have this like slightly more simple band. And lastly, this very glamorous ring. I think I would like to see a few more ring options, but honestly, I'm impressed to see any because we haven't had any new rings like that in so long. All right, now for the good stuff, the clothes. Starting off with this very interesting flower shop uniform. We also have this amazing dress. I love this red swatch on it. We have this like mother of the bride kind of vibe dress. I think it's so pretty. We have this stunning outfit. It has the veil attached to the hair automatically. Also just absolutely incredible swatches. We have this new suit. This one is technically a masculine suit. That's why like the shape might be a little bit off, but there is a better like more tailored feminine frame suit. We got a cake uniform. That's such a random item that's just like inserted in there, but hey, they had to make it. Okay, I am obsessed with this dress as well. Look at how shiny it is. And they all come with such incredible swatches. Like this one, hello. We got this off the shoulder little number. This is like a pantsuit with a cape. Hang on, she's wearing Converse. It's better to have no shoes, honestly. <laughs> it also has some really cool swatches. I'm really into this like light green one. We've got this really pretty one shoulder dress. I think this one is my favorite out of all of them. I think this is the one that I would be most likely to wear for myself. And it has some really pretty options. Also, this could kind of work as a bridesmaid's dress and a wedding dress depending on what you need it to be. Look at this one. I mean, come on. We have a cute little like bridesmaid or like wedding guest kind of dress. You could wear it for a more casual wedding too. This one 
incredible. Look at the detail of the texture. I'm always so impressed by the textures because sometimes like these beads would just be painted on, but they're actually 3D. And I love the colors on this. Another stunning dress. I know I just keep saying the same thing over and over again. This one's a bit more beaded and it's also kind of more ball gown-esque. It's a bit poofier than the others. I think this dress is probably my second favorite one in the whole game. This is just a really nice, pretty dress. It's simple, it has pretty colors. It's good for like bridesmaids, wedding guests, whatever you need. This one has some interesting like embroidery work on it. It also has really pretty swatches. Look at that purple. This suit is such a blessing. We do not have anything like this. We are so lacking in like properly tailored suits for feminine frame sims. This looks awesome. Like that color, come on. And I love how it has like a little bit of like corset detailing almost on the inside underneath it. It just, this is a really, really nice suit. This is probably like my third favorite item in the whole pack. I love the rainbow as well. I just, this is nice. It's really nice. We have this more lacy dress. I wasn't sure if they could pull off lace. Like I'm not sure if the texture like works that well in The Sims 4, but it looks pretty and there's some pretty swatches too. This is that same pantsuit item from earlier, but with no cape. And we also have this like bigger, more poofy dress. I think it's very pretty. We honestly have quite a lot of variety in the cast items. I'm going to show you a couple more things. We have a couple skirts and tops. We have this set, but it's separate. And then we also have this suit top right here. There are two shoes, one little pair of sandals, and also these little flats. And these are all of the styled looks just to give you like another idea of how they've styled these things themselves. Very pretty. And the last one is this one looking beautiful. Masculine Sims also have like kind of an impressive amount of clothing. Granted, not as much as feminine Sims do. It's always like that. They always do this, but at least it's not like one item. You know how they have one hair? At least there's more than one clothing item. We have more than just the flower outfit. We also have this super cute suit. They've done a lot to make some kind of interesting swatches on these as well, which I was kind of pleased with. There's a good combo of like neutrals, but also some kind of more fun flashy things. This suit's kind of cool. It's giving pajamas, but maybe it's trendy. I'm not sure. This outfit, very cool, super wedding appropriate. This one's kind of giving like I'm wearing my dad's suit, but also you could see like a very fashionable, attractive, famous man walking down the runway in this. Like you can see it, the oversize is very trendy. This one is stunning. I'm really impressed by the texture on this. I know I keep talking about that, but sometimes I worry that the Sims can't really pull off like shiny things well. Like this is kind of silky looking. And sometimes I worry about like that working and looking Maxis match still. But this one looks really nice in my opinion. This one less impressed by, notice how the buttons are like completely flat. They're painted on. Yeah, it's still really nice. It doesn't like ruin the outfit, but it's so weird. I wonder how they make those decisions, like to have some of them be like 3D and others not. There was an outfit in the carnival kit. Oh my God, these, this pair of shorts literally had a painted on bag. Like a bag was painted on, flat. The buttons are more passable. Like I, I accept the buttons, but the bag, we have this nice outfit as well. We've got this like more suspender look. It also has some pretty good swatches. Again, I'm really impressed by like all the colors on everything. But this one has a couple fun, like more interesting bow ties with it. I like this one a lot. I think this is cute, but you can see what I mean by how there's like some really good neutrals, but also some like more fun, colorful things, just good combos. And then lastly, we have three variants of this full body outfit. There's two different attached hats and then one without any hat. I'm honestly not super sure why the head pieces are like only attached to the clothes and they're not like accessible in hats because there's technically no masculine hat, but there's like hats attached to the outfits. I don't really know why. I'm never like super sure about them doing that, but they do it sometimes. It makes more sense to me with the veils because like a lot of times the veils might clip in certain hairs. Like it makes sense to attach the veil to the hair, but his hair was fully covered anyway. So I don't know. We have four tops for masculine Sims. We've got this one. I really like this one a lot. There's a lot of interesting prints in this pack. Sometimes the prints they do are too much, but I kind of like these. We also have this one a little bit more simple, still some fun colors, not so berry. Come on. This one is pretty interesting. I'm not sure. Look at these swatches. Can you tell me what's different between these three? Because I can. Like maybe one of the shirts is a little bit wider. I don't know, but there's three of the same swatch for some reason. There are some cool swatches though. And we also have this top. There's only one pair of pants. Don't know about that. Here are those different styled looks we were talking about. There's only two styled looks for masculine Sims for some reason. Not sure why. The kids got three things. They got this super cute little dress, this adorable little dress. I love the colors on this one. And also this little suit. I believe this matches one of the adult suits, which is pretty cute. Like it's kind of fun to have the kids match the older people. I just like it. Hang on, I forgot. There is one pair of shoes, one pair of shoes. The toddlers also got a couple items. They have this super adorable little outfit with the suspenders. It's got such nice swatches. I love the polka dots. And look at this adorable little dress with the sparkles. I think this is probably one of my favorite things in the whole pack too. I love this. I 
did make an entire video showing off the New World Tartosa like more in depth because in my opinion this is the best part of the whole pack so I can link that down below for you and if you like that kind of thing and then you're into Sims news type stuff feel free to subscribe I always make videos like this when new content comes out so just you know click that little sub button and you won't miss it next time see anyway <laughs> let me show you some of the build items there are two starter homes in this world one down here and one up here I might just move into this empty lot though so I can show you around like all of the actual furniture this isn't really like a builder's pack oh <laughs> It's not great weather either, is it? It does rain a lot in Tartosa. I've noticed if you have seasons, it does rain a lot. She's just running around in the rain. Okay. <laughs> anyway, it's not really like a builder's pack. Like there's build stuff, but it's not like dream home decorator, which was a builder's paradise. Does that make sense? We did actually get three different doors. There's a medium wall height door, a tall wall height door, and this huge arch. I won't lie. I'm actually kind of impressed by these. We don't really have anything like this right now. So it does fill a void for me. There's not a ton of swatches. I'd like to see some more of them, but they're definitely cute colors. Colors, and there's like some good ones that match like the base game brown windows if that makes sense like this one matches a lot of the base game windows which works it helps I love this minty one but also this one the blue is just nice it's not quite a solid black it's more of a gray I'd like to see an extra swatch that's all black but we don't have that you see how like this arch has a more true black swatch but even that's not like fully true black it is a really useful arch though there's no short wall height doors or anything also small thing to point out these only cost 50 simoleons this giant door costs more than this this base game door. That is 145. Tell me how that checks out. It doesn't. We also got a couple windows. I love the size of these two windows. They're really useful, like nice, good swatches, little shuttered windows. I'm gonna use these all the time. And they're kind of fun swatches, like it has some pretty fun colors. Although, I am very displeased to inform you that those colors don't match these colors. Um, that is fully four different shades of teal right there that we're looking at. So I don't know why they did that. Honestly, cannot wrap my head around that. Like, these are nice colors. I like all of them, but why don't they match? Why? And they also gave us a couple stained glass windows, I assume, to make, like, some kind of nice wedding venues. They're pretty. They have some really interesting swatches, too. There's some, like, really nice, like, plain white ones, but also some kind of interesting ones, like these. I think these are gonna be super usable for a lot of things. And the round window is pretty cool. I don't really find myself using round windows that much in this game, but I'll admit it's nice. It is nice. We also only have one wallpaper. It's this new, like, fade stucco wallpaper. I have a couple problems with this. Number one, you can't use it for two stories because if you tried to stack it, you're gonna see the bottom again. But I will admit it actually has some really nice swatches. Like there's some really nice like pastel colors in this. And the texture is pretty nice. I, I can see myself using this a lot. We don't have a lot of like really nice true like light pink swatches in the game. So this is a really, really useful item. There is no flooring. There is actually a new terrain paint. We have a new like Tartosa sand, which is nice. I'm a bit annoyed that we didn't get a lot of the new terrain textures that are in the world. Like they made a lot of new ones because they're out here, but we don't have them, which kind of sucks. There is also a new fence and a new fence gate, both of which I think are really cool. You can see there's a lot of kind of fun colors in this pack. I'm pretty impressed by that. The fence itself has some nice like neutral swatches too, like plain whites and everything. So you kind of have all those bases covered and they have lots of pretty flowers on them. So I like it. No like staircases or railings or anything like that, but we did get a couple roof decor pieces. I assume these are so you can build like some sort of church if you wanted to. We have this little tiny Mediterranean style chimney, which has some pretty fun colors. I can see myself using that item a lot. I don't know how often I'll use either of these two things, but you know what? It's kind of nice and we don't have anything like that. So it's going to kind of fill a void there. So while I'd like to see more stuff for like the build builds, I'll take it. This is good. All right, furniture. We have a few different chairs. Actually, lots of different chairs. <laughs> Although I suppose it's really just four different chairs. You can see there's two variants of each of these, one that's plain and one that has flowers. I'm really into that. I think it's pretty cute for weddings. It's kind of a fun detail. I'm not loving the swatches of these chairs though. Like the woods don't really match anything else. Like we don't have any woods that match outside of this pack. So I don't know, the white's easy to blend into things, but like even this light tone doesn't really match the other light toned woods. Like it just, I don't know. I'm gonna have a hard time fitting these into like regular use for dining tables. Obviously the flowers, but I mean like the plain ones. They're nice for weddings, just not so nice for everyday building. This one's kind of interesting. It's like acrylic. We don't really have anything like that, so I, I quite like it. And this one's like super classic. I'm glad they made it. And it matches a lot of things that come in the pack, you'll see. We also got a couple new benches. We have like a church pew type thing and this cute love seat. We don't have anything like this pew, so that's a fun addition. We did get a new lounge chair. This, I believe, is now my new favorite lounge chair in The Sims 4. It's good colors. It's pretty. It's realistic. I like it a lot better than the base game ones. Like, this is just 
just a nice lounger. A couple different banquet tables, one like long one with a little tablecloth on it. Look how cute that looks. And then like a rounded banquet table. I'm super glad they made a big round table like this because we have a lot of like small round tables with, with tablecloths, but not any round ones. So this is a nice touch. This item's cool. It's like a little bar back and it's pretty fun because in real life, a lot of people at their weddings, they'll have like specialty signature drinks, like three of their favorite drinks at the wedding as like specialty ones. And this kind of implies that like, it's just kind of a cute touch. A barrel. Honestly, I think this barrel is probably going to be my most used item in my regular builds out of this whole pack. I'm not kidding. One of these little three high shelves, you know. We did get a few different dance floors in three different sizes and they actually have some pretty interesting swatches. These are kind of fun. Some are like very ballroom-esque and they just, they're going to fit in so nicely to a lot of builds. I love this one. It's cool because it kind of looks like it blends into like a marble floor. It's not just like random and stuck on somewhere. This piano is a top contender for one of the best items in the game. Look at that. Look at the top of it. Are you actually kidding me? We haven't had a new piano in a while either. So like, I'm so down for this. Look at it. Look at it. Little toast bucket. Good stuff. Has gameplay because you can have your Sims click on it and give a toast. Now this is interesting. These are banquet tables, just like the luxury party one, but we finally have some new variants and they added some more foods to them. So you can like add more stuff. I will say, I wish there was more food that you could put on them, but I'll take it because I've been desperate for more things like this for a long time. And we even got a new fountain. So this has the same gameplay features as Luxury Party. So in my humble opinion, Luxury Party is now completely worthless. I already thought it was worthless, but now it's even more worthless because you can get these from this pack instead. But you can have your Sim like serve this with six different foods. Boom, done. It's ready. You can also put a cake on top of this little stand if you wanted to, which is kind of cool. It's nice. It's a good feature. It feels very necessary for this pack as well to just have easy food options. We did get a little bar. I'm not sure about the writing on it. Like, I don't really know if I care about that too much. So that's nice, I guess. These tea sets are awesome. They work like this lemonade tray from the backyard stuff pack, if you'd like remember that one at all. Basically, your Sims can just click on it in game and they can be like, hey, steep some tea. You can pick any tea you want. So she'll make it. And then you can be like, hey, pour the tea. And then it pours six little cups of tea and you can drink it. I am so, so, so pleased with this. This is like one of my favorite parts of the pack for sure. The tea sets are awesome. That's like way up there with some of the best things they've added in a long time. I'm not even kidding. I love it. I love it. We did also unsurprisingly get quite a few more wedding arches and there's some really interesting ones. Like these two are kind of what I was expecting to see. Like, you know, florals, some interesting like drapery and stuff like that. That checks out in my book. Like I totally am not surprised by that. I love it, but I'm not surprised. This one's cool with the palm fronds, like for a really fun beach wedding. I, I love that one. That one, like I wasn't expecting and I'm really impressed by. Also this stone one is pretty interesting. I didn't see that coming. And then we have this sort of interesting like metalwork one. I will say I'm not sure about this rainbow candle swatch. I think I wish that the candles themselves were each different colors instead of the candles being lots of colors. Like give me like a red and a blue and then a green and a yellow and orange. Like I kind of wish it was like different ones scattered about instead of them all being rainbow. I don't love the ombre look, but I do like this item. This is that floral truck your Sims can buy bouquets from. You can also buy flowers from this and I'm pretty sure because you can just place it, like if you wanted to put this down like in your local park, you could buy like an orchid from the vendor and then plant it and then get rich because orchids sell for a lot of money in this game. They also cost like 1200 simoleons to buy, but he sells flowers and bouquets. We have this beautiful little floral arrangement. I will say I kind of wish we had a few more floral arrangements for the tables. Like this is just one. I'd like to see like three or four of them, but we have that one. It's only 50 simoleons too. And then we have a couple more like taller floral things. I probably wouldn't put that on a table, but you can if you want. This one's cool. It's like a giant floral arrangement. I actually love this. This is very, very interesting. It has really fun swatches. Like this one is, this is the kind of like cool wedding decor I wanted to see. There's a couple other table items. We also have this super cute little candle table centerpiece. I love this one. It's small. It's simple. The candles are nice. I kind of thought we would see the flowers and the candle separate. I'm happy to have them combined, but I also wish that I could use that candle on its own. So I'm sad, but this is a nice item. This one's kind of cool. It's a bit more modern. It's got a more interesting flower and a couple candlesticks. We have this really pretty lamp with some different floral centerpieces. We have this plain lantern, also a very useful item for like other builds just to put lanterns outside. We have this amazing hanging lantern. Uh, this is a glowing ball, not to be confused with the glowing cube from luxury party stuff. This one's a ball. I know it seems like a weird thing, but I can actually see myself getting use out of that. And also the cool builders that make like really creative things, they're gonna find some way to turn this into like a mushroom or something. They're very smart. And we have this little wall sconce. I don't have a wall, but you get the idea. It's 
for the wall. Speaking of the wall, actually, we've got this garland for the walls right here. Beautiful colors. We have a couple different curtain sets. I was actually quite impressed with this. So even with move objects off, you can layer the curtains if you want to. So you can change like the color of the two of them separately to make like a custom piece. And it comes in two different heights. So this is great to hang up on your walls. This is gonna work pretty good for like your houses too, because there's lots of swatches, but you can make like a completely custom set if you wanted to like this. I'll take any curtains they give me. Seriously, I'm not kidding. Any option I can get, I'll take. We also have one more piece of wall decor. This is the only one, but it's got some really cool swatches on it. It's like a wood carved wall hanging basically. Other decor includes this super cute sign. It has a couple different styles too, and they each have like a wedding announcement and like it looks like a seating chart. So at weddings in real life, you may have not seen this, but all my cousins did it, so it must be popular. They make like signs with, you know, your table number, and also they'll have like a welcome to the wedding of like Bob and Susie, <laughs> you know, and it has like written in pretty letters or whatever. So they kind of have something similar to that in a couple different styles, which is nice. I love this one the best. I think it's really pretty. We also got a huge fountain, like a giant fountain, and your sims can sit on the edges of that. You can't size it down, by the way, because when you try, the water floats. But that happens to all fountains. Even like, like candles do that because the fire will float. It's because it's animated. We got this really nice room divider. That is so pretty. How about this little thing? Like this little set of sticks to line the aisles. And there's a whole bunch of different swatches too. This item, this backdrop is awesome. Look at that. We got a couple different pergola type things. We have this one with the florals. I'm gonna use this all the time. And then we also have these like tent pieces that I guess you could combine to make like some sort of wedding tent and put the tables underneath it. Or you could even have like the wedding arch underneath it or something. But these are really, really pretty. And they have a lot of usable swatches like the plain white, plain black. This blue and gold one's cool. And we also have this huge pergola completely decked out in flowers. Can you imagine how expensive that would be? But it's got some pretty nice swatches as well. I'm really impressed with this. And last but not least, we have the actual wedding aisles. So this is the gameplay where your sims like walk up and down the wedding aisle. And they gave us a few different options. There's three different lengths of them. These ones that look a little bit weird are actually invisible. So when you go into game, you can't see them. But when you hover over it, you can. So you can like pretend to send your sim down an aisle, but it doesn't have to like have anything visible. So you can make your own with rugs or whatever. And then it has like the gameplay of walking up and down it. You can send like the flower pal up it and stuff. I'm glad they have three different sizes. And I also like the flower petal version. It's kind of cool. It's a nice option to have. Hang on, I forgot this. We also have this. <laughs> Just a cute little like sign with some different flags. Oh, and this rug, sorry. But you can put this rug in the aisles if you wanted to. And you could like make a custom aisle with the rug. And it has some really nice swatches as well. I'm pretty impressed with these. But look, you can kind of like layer it and combine the, I don't know. It's nice. That's all the build mode. There is actually a pretty impressive amount of debug in this pack though. Like for example, there's all of these message in a bottles. These can wash up on the beach. And when you read them, they actually have lore like about the world, about the Sims, stuff like that in them. They'll show up in piles like this on the beach. And when you dig into it, you'll get like a message in a bottle. Other highlights include these trees, especially this one. I love this debug tree and this debug tree. I'm really glad we got these. There's a couple other like interesting pieces to build out like sort of city center type areas. These are both sculptures that are in the world and you can put them on your lots if you want. Same thing with this item. There's a full on plane, also a lighthouse. <laughs> There's some kind of nice like fishing objects. I think these signs are super useful. I will probably use these all the time on my builds. We don't really have many sign things like that. So I'm gonna get a lot of use out of those. You can see these are all the different cake toppers. Uh, you can access them in debug, but you can also just get them like from gameplay of wedding cakes. Here's a weird one. There's some sitting areas that are debug. <laughs> like you can't actually sit in these chairs. They're like fully in the city center, but you can't sit in them. But we have like the tables and, and umbrellas and chairs that are from there. I'm not mad though, because I kind of like the idea of having the umbrella. They also look kind of weird because they're not real items. They're debug, but that's there. How about this? There's actually a couple more sign options as well. Little tiny tree, palm tree, more umbrellas. This thing's pretty cool. I'll probably use that a lot, but especially these signs, super useful for parks and things. How about this? These are doors, but they're debug, so they're fake. You can't actually use them, but they're like decorative. And you can also access a bunch of huge rocks and all of the bouquets from gameplay. I've made some other videos on my channel showing off more of the gameplay, so I can link those down below. And again, I'm gonna make a review video talking more about gameplay stuff tomorrow, but this is how you plan weddings now. And there's actually a load of different kinds of wedding parties that you can schedule, like vow renewal, wedding ceremony, rehearsal dinner, reception, batch parties. And with them, you can sort of customize what's going on. Same as normal, you can invite like guests and stuff like that, but you pick the activities you want. They all have like pretty much the same options, so you can kind of customize it, but you could choose like, oh, at the ceremony, 
ceremony, I want to walk down the aisle and exchange vows, spousal kiss, and then maybe in a different separate reception party, I want to have like the dancing and the drinks, you know? So you can completely customize all of it to any extent you want. Like you don't have to use all of it. For example, you don't need to set the guest attire. I mean, even if you did, it doesn't work, but maybe it'll be fixed when the pack comes out. I don't know. It's not fixed yet. It doesn't, when you click on it, it just disappears. And a lot of it's kind of weird. It's kind of confusing because you can't select the wedding cake or like the flower pal from this menu initially. You have to like plan the wedding and then ask a sim to be your flower pal and then go back and edit it and add the flower pal in. But it actually is really cool. The whole thing is really cool. I would love to see more events have like better, more detailed planning systems. All in all, I think the world is probably the biggest highlight of the whole pack. It's beautiful. It's huge. All of this area is walkable and playable. Even like this area down here, there's not like a lot, but your sims can walk around it, go on the beach, swim in the water. Same thing with this area down here and this one. So like it's nine lots, but honestly, it kind of feels like 12 or at least 11. I guess this one's a lot. What I mean is like over here, this isn't actually a lot in game, but you can come here, you can play in the sand, you can relax on these loungers, your sims can swim in this whole waterfall area. All of this is walkable space. Like there's just a huge amount of space for your sims to use. I really, really hope that the pack is fixed now. I'm recording this before the patch and the pack is actually released. So I'm like really crossing my fingers that it's better. And like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna make like an actual proper review. I wanna talk about the pack and the gameplay and like whether I think it's worth buying or not, but I wanna play the actual public release instead of just the early access one before I do that. So feel free to subscribe to my channel if you don't wanna miss it. I do post Sims videos every single day. So if you're into this, feel free to sub. And with that being said, I'll catch you all tomorrow. Bye everybody. Oh, by the way, check out these videos right here if you want to see some more early access wedding content. Seriously, the world is so incredible. You're going to love it.